What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at the RetroArch application and all the cool themes that are included when you install this app. And if you haven't already installed this application, I'll have that link in the description for you. And basically RetroArch just allows you to run a bunch of ROMs using all sorts of different emulators and you can load different cores of emulators and just test them out and see which one works best for you. So we're going to look at all the different themes that were included in this installation of this app and I noticed that a lot of people don't know about this so when you first install it you will see the basic theme with the white icons and it's great because we have specific icons for each emulator and we also have the wallpaper or thumbnail for each of our games and this is great about this application that it downloads all the different thumbnails for all of our games well for the most part um, so we have the different icons for each emulator it could either be a controller or the system itself like the Game Boy now what you want to do is go under settings and then we want to go to the user interface next we're gonna go under appearance next we'll go down to the menu icon theme and you want to use your d-pad to scroll left or right and once you press right the screen will go black and it will load up the new theme that we selected so right here we have the flat UI theme so let's go back and as you can see we already have a difference and much nicer layout of the icons and gives it a nice little color there and it looks awesome I love it so let's go back into our settings under user interface there's a lot of different options here a lot of different configurations and things like that go to under appearance and back down we can change the menu color theme right now it's set to electric blue if we hit the d-pad or use your analog you can change different colors so we have apple green undersea volcanic red dark light plain morning blue and my favorite the sunbeam now our thumbnails it's going to show the different thumbnails for each of our games we have title screens box arts screenshots let's go back and check it out and you can see a screenshot of my saved game where i left off and different screenshots of all the games here so you can get a feel of what's going on with each game that's pretty cool now let's go back and change that under user interface appearance and now we can change it to title screens or box art so let's change it to title screens and now we have the title screen of that game when it loads up. See that? 102 Dalmatians, 1942. That is awesome. That's really cool. Let's go back under our user settings or user interface appearance. And I'm just going to change it back to box arts. And if you don't know what box arts is, it's just how the game is sold in stores As you can see we have the Game Boy Color logo and how it's displayed outside the box the box art the physical copy of the game another cool thing is our icon shadows so if you enable this we have this nice shadow under all of our icons just gives it a nice look to it and I prefer the shadow because it pops makes it look more professional more polished and now I'll check out all the different themes here so under menu icon theme let's press so it does take some time to load some of these themes we have retroactive very nice let's go back and check out the icons here more boxed 
Yeah, I like this one too. Very cool icons. And all the different colors too. Have Sunbeam, Legacy Red, Dark Purple, Midnight Blue. I like Dark Purple, Sunbeam, and Midnight Blue. Awesome. Let's try another theme here. Now we have Pixel. Not a big fan of Pixel. But it's there if you prefer that style. Go under user interface appearances. Kind of get lost sometimes a little bit. We can change. Nice. Try another theme here. <clears throat> so we have Neo Active. And we have much more of a diamond shape or more of a not sure how you say it, but kind of cool. It's all right. And let's try another one here. And all the colors will be the same. They won't change. Except for the different background with the uh, theme. So now we have a systematic and more of a hexagon style. I like this one a lot. You can see the golden, electric blue, apple green, undersea, volcanic red looks really nice. Dark, light, plain, morning blue, and sunbeam. And if you're into those hexagon shapes like I am, the icons look really cool too for the games. They have a lot more color. Nice. Love that. And check out another theme here. Now we have dot art. This one's cool. You can see the different icons and a much more nostalgic feel and look to the icons and the ROMs. Nice, look at that. Looks like 3D or something. Very cool. Big fan of this one for sure. And this one is the NES, but it's a different system that we've got going on. And here's the second gen SNES. Pretty cool stuff. And another theme. Yeah, so a lot of people don't know about this uh, custom theme under your appearance menu. And I'm not a big fan of custom. Maybe just because you have to do more of a your own style here and just give it your own look. And I really didn't play around with custom too much. So, yeah, I'm not, not a big fan of that one, really. I wouldn't want to toy around with that just because it's just too much time for me already um, doing all this other stuff and just don't have time to create my own theme and I'd rather install or just take a look at what's available already nice wallpaper in the back there and on another video I'll show you how to use your own different uh, image for your menu wallpaper Let's go back and we have the hexagon shapes again and a rich color to the icons much more detail to the ROM icons very good and I believe there's a couple more and this is great because it's included when you install this app and that way you don't have to download everything individually and this is a monochrome inverted <clears throat> just a more black icons uh, not a fan of that one oops appearance and I, I believe there's just a regular monochrome and there's automatic just super clean to the point 
whatever lines basic lines some people like that some don't I don't really like this one let's go to another theme here we got automatic inverted well, it kind of hurts my eyes a little bit looking at that so we'll change this real quick and now we're back to the regular monochrome back to the default theme that is defaulted when you install this application so my favorite is gonna be the hexagon one and as you're scrolling through you can't really like double tap it you have to wait till it loads and then select the one you'd like there is also a different animation for selecting and highlighting different icons for this one we have the horizontal icon highlight the animation that triggers when scrolling between tabs and we have easing out quad or easing in sign easing out bounce so let's try the bounce you can see how the icons kind of bounce up and down kind of cool uh, not a huge difference it's not like crazy different uh, let's try easing in sign a little bit of a difference there not too much and let's try I like the bounce actually let's try the animation moving up and down so there's only two options quad and expo let's try this there's expo it's more of like direct feel to it this one has like a slow animation it's kind of hard to tell and then we have the animation that triggers when opening a sub menu so easing out bounce let's try bounce sub menu I'm not sure I, I believe it would be oops there we go that's it and that's that is all we have for you today in this one let's try circle yeah not a big difference but anyways guys that is it for this one thank you so much for watching as always I really do appreciate your time and taking that precious time out of your day to watch my video and if you have any questions comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Take care, guys, and I will see you on the next one.